If you've ever had a headache, then you know the wonders of one of the United States' most popular over-the-counter medicines, Tylenol. Also known as acetaminophen, or if you're overseas, paracetamol, this stuff is a quick and easy way to relieve pain and reduce fever. Although you may be confident in the fact that your pharmacy knows everything there is to know about this stuff, take a look at the physician's note that comes with the bottle. Although the analgesic effect of acetaminophen is well established, the site and mode of action have not been clearly elucidated. Translation, yeah, this stuff works, but we just don't know how. However, there are some working theories. Acetaminophen blocks an enzyme that sends out chemicals called prostaglandins that make our bodies feel pain. If this theory is correct, then acetaminophen works very similar to aspirin, Advil, and Aleve. Some research is leading into showing that acetaminophen works on the endocannabinoid system, which has a role in the sensation of pain in the body. Cannabinoids sound familiar? The main drug in marijuana, THC, also works through this system. This is why people look to marijuana as an option for pain relief. Acetaminophen may also make adjustments to signaling from the neurotransmitter serotonin. Serotonin's connection to pain is complicated. Some wasps and scorpions have serotonin in their venom, and serotonin levels may play a role in migraine headaches. While all these theories seem very different, some researchers out there think that it isn't necessarily true that there's just one process, but instead a combination of all three of these processes. Chemists want to know how acetaminophen works so they can create better pain relief medicines. Today, it's one of the most popular drugs in the U.S., with over 27 billion doses sold in 2009. When taken at recommended levels, Tylenol is a perfectly safe pain reliever. But watch out. If you go overboard, acetaminophen isn't as safe as you think. Acetaminophen poisoning is one of the most common forms of drug toxicity in the world. Many prescriptions and over-the-counter drugs contain this stuff, so it's easy for people seeking quick pain relief to accidentally take too much without realizing it. Overdosing on acetaminophen can lead to liver damage, liver failure, or even death. When you take this drug, the body produces a chemical byproduct or metabolite. When too much of this stuff builds up, it can damage your liver cells. So seriously, people, read the darn label and pay attention to dosage. If you're still not sure about dosing, ask your doctor or your pharmacist. The sooner we figure out how acetaminophen works, the sooner scientists can create even better, safer pain relief medicines. For more in-depth information on this Tylenol conundrum, look down there in the video description for a link to a CNN article on the subject by Carmen Drawl. Also, get your food science on with this video about garlic breath and the other about how caffeine affects your brain. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to subscribe.